So, you know, coming from Beaver County, my dad's a steel worker. My mom worked at the Ambridge High School cafeteria for many years um, as a cafeteria lady. Um, I was in the marching band there in Ambridge and I really had a great time, you know, and coming out here to Philadelphia and establishing my business um, was just uh, another stepping stone to um, trying to help people. So after I paid off my student loans and, you know, dental school debt, um, because graduating is tough these days for anyone going to college, I thought, how do I give back to the community? And so I've been doing anything I possibly can to reach out to where I'm from. People from Ambridge, they, they have such good hearts. They really do just always try to help each other. They lift the community up, you know, especially during these times. I heard from Felicia that the schools were shutting down due to the coronavirus this year. I started thinking, well, you know, a lot of the students are not coming from an area that might have their own laptop or number, number two is having a connection to the high-speed internet just to be able to do their schoolwork. And I started thinking, so many of these students probably go home and then end up going to the library or a local area um, to do their homework. And if the libraries are shut down, if um, you know, these, these places where students would go to um, could no longer go to to get their education, I started thinking, well, what are they going to do? And, and I reached out to Felicia and she said, as a matter of fact, we're looking to do a computer drive um, whereas we can provide computers to students that don't have them. And I said, okay, so if we get them computers, um, how do we go about getting them the internet access that they're going to need? And she said, I've already handled that. I've already reached out to many companies and we have a plan in place for that. And I said, great. So what do you need from me? And she says, I need you to donate 37 computers. Or, and I said, okay, whatever you need, let me know and we can make this happen. She's a, an amazing person in the community um, to organize families to come out and to be able to pick up laptops. And I know that she ended up collecting more than 100 computers and giving them to students. Um, I think the number was actually reaching around 150. I don't know the exact number, but the amount of coordination and reaching out to the school and to the community to find the need and then also posting on Ambridge Connection, posting on Facebook, looking for those families that have a need that the students aren't getting educated. Um, the last thing I think, especially in Beaver County, that we, we have to prevent is lack of education and giving students equal opportunity to go out into the world to make something of themselves. And, you know, always respecting where you came from and looking back and saying, how can I make that community even a, a tad bit better? Or how can I make a change that propels the future of the area just that much stronger? And that's what I'm trying to do is to look back at my roots and say, you know what, this place was really great for me. What can I do to help out the future? I think if I could give a message to anyone in Beaver County is just reach out to your neighbors, reach out to your family, and keep in mind we're all in this world together. And if we're working together, we're much, much stronger than working as individuals. And we all have needs. We all have things that we're going through. And that person that you're in line with at the grocery store, be friendly to them. Um, that's one thing I would say about Beaver County. Everyone tends to be friendly and helpful for each other. And part of that I love. It's just how do we do more and not attack each other, especially during these times where there's a lot of financial stress. There's a lot of work stress. There's just a lot happening that are keeping people inside and we're caged in right now. You know, be nice to each other.